Hey guys, I am getting ready for work again. And um, I thought, you know what, I wanted to use some of these Ipsy products that I've gotten in Birchbox lately and share them with you. So I thought I'm going to use just a bunch of new makeup to me that has come from these things and elsewhere, which I'll tell you. And um, yeah, that should just be fun. I want a very simple look. This is my third night closing in a row. Days, I can totally do several in a row and like several, I say several, three, because I don't work more than three days a week usually. Um, but nights like kill me because we close at 10, but I don't leave until 10, 15 or later. And for some reason, those just knock me in a weird, I don't know. But anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and get ready. I just want a real simple look tonight because it's my last night of three in a row closing. And then I have a whole week off. Yay. So I'm excited about that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use several items from my Ipsy bag um, and Birchbox. This was um, the LOC little shadow stick that I got from Birchbox. Um, I got this Morphe bronzer from Ipsy. This Space Case eyeshadow from Ipsy. This Estate highlight from Ipsy. And then I'm going to use some other things that are fairly new to me, haven't been used at all, or something like that. Um, this is the navy blue eyeliner that I got, that I did, used in my um, dollar store makeup challenge, which I'll link up here if you haven't seen. And so I thought I would use that today. Um, I have one of the Tarte blushes that I've got in the past out of Ipsy. And then um, I have this little pixie lip gloss in... Honey Sheen that actually someone sent me, but it was from her Ipsy box that she knew she wouldn't use. And then someone um, also just recently gifted me this little City Mini palette. And um, what's the name on this? Concrete Runway is the name of it. So I thought I would use that. So that is what I'm going to do. And I thought we would just chit chat a little. I was thinking about some things that have been kind of funny lately that I haven't shared with you guys. And I'm like, oh, I should tell them about these things because when I think about them, they make me laugh. Or make me frustrated, but also kind of make me laugh. I'm going to use this Morphe bronzer. Um, oh, 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 that, that, mm, that was darker than I thought it was going to be. Okay. Can't really talk when I'm doing bronzer outside of my mouth, I guess. Oh, gosh. I'm going to have to fix that because, well, girl, this is in debutante. Um, I'll be going into work looking crazy. It's a Monday night, and typically Monday nights are very slow, so don't have to worry too much about looking like a freak. <laughs> um, the nice thing about where I work, I work retail, is that even on slow nights, like as far as customer slow, there is um, a ton of other stuff to do, which I like because if I'm at work, I'm going to be working. I can't stand to just stand around that makes the night just like or day just go by so slow I hate that and I've never experienced that with this job yet like there's always a lot to do so um and I'm like a weird like if I have a task like I it's like a challenge to me to complete it like it drives me crazy if I have to leave without something done which happens sometimes because once my Shift is up, I just have to go. And they don't even expect that you're getting all of these, you know, certain things done. Um, but that is something that just drives me crazy. Like, I'm like, no, but I started this. I want to get it done. <laughs> I wish I was like that with housework more. Um, but, yeah, I'm just very, like, task-oriented like that, I guess. Um, which I think my coworkers probably appreciate, my managers. But, um, yeah, so... Oh gosh, I don't know what I'm going to do with this. Actually, I'm going to take my powder brush and see. Well, just kind of buffing that out a little bit because I want a little crazy. Alright, I think it's alright. Um, but yeah, so even if we're not busy with customers, we're busy doing stuff. So, taking this tart blush. Okay, so um, something kind of a few things that happened on our during like my son's bowling tournament stuff we had two weekends of bowling tournaments because if you don't know his bowling team got first at regionals and then um my son and one of his friends got placed in top 10 um 
for, okay, so the team placed first for regionals, and then um, my son and his friend placed top 10 in individuals at regionals, so they got to go to states for teams and for individuals. So we spent two weekends at hotels and at bowling alleys and whatever. So um, this, his friend's mom, last year we kind of got talking stuff during bowling season because her son just started bowling last year. Um, or on the team. He's actually a very good bowler and has been bowling since he was a kid, but, um, and he still is a kid, but you know what I'm saying. Um, anyway, she and I just click. Like, you know how there's just certain people that you're around them and you're like, you just get each other and it's like very easy. It's very just like a natural flow. And she and I just crack up all the time. Like, and, um, my son and her son, like, they act like they're annoyed sometimes, but I think they actually like that we're, you know, good friends. But um, they talk about us like we're girlfriends. They say we're dating because we text each other all the time and we'll just be, like, cracking up about things. And um, so, anyway, um, I'm going to use that estate highlighter. Um, so, anyway, she and I just have really hit it off and get along really good and stuff. So it was very fun to be able to go away for the weekends and her and her husband, we, my husband and I both get along really good with both of them. So it, it was really fun because it was like getting to hang out with them while we're at bowling alleys all day and stuff, you know? And, um, so at regionals, we went out to eat at Applebee's after the team placed first. And so it was super exciting. The whole team, their families, you know, the coaches, everybody went. And um, regionals was about an hour away from where we live. And um, so we go to Applebee's and we're sitting there and we're talking about stuff. And she and I are talking, her name's Heather. She and I are talking and somebody said something about MySpace. I don't even know how it got brought up, but I was like, we were laughing about it in the days of MySpace. I go, but I kind of miss it because I love makeup. And I'm like... I have no idea why I just said that. <laughs> and she laughed so hard. We were both just like cracking up. I'm like, I mean, I do love makeup. Clearly it's on my mind, but they had nothing to do with anything I was talking about. Because what I was going to say was I liked how you could put music on my space. And, but I said, I love makeup. Well, she just couldn't like stop laughing about it. And I was like so giggly. So later she said something to me and she's like hashtag makeup and that kind of has become our thing and um so there was actually a day that next week because that was um the weekend where my grandma passed away and I was having kind of a rough day and she and I were talking and had you know been talking back and forth for a while and then we were had enough to do whatever we were doing and so um we were saying bye or whatever and she's put hashtag makeup at the end of it well that made me giggle and I was like thank you so much like I needed that and it was just such a simple little thing but it just made me you know when it was kind of a rough time and stuff it made me laugh and so it was just it, it's become our thing like she just randomly will be like hashtag makeup <laughs> like I don't know it was really funny so um I really have enjoyed like getting to know her and just like the goofy kind of stuff that we we find the same kind of things funny, so, oh my gosh, like, we just have a lot of fun. And that's what our husbands and our kids are like, oh my gosh. But, um, so I'm going to take this little city, city mini palette, and like I said, I'm going to do something very simple. So I'm actually going to take this gray color here, and I'm going to put that all over the lid and up into the transition. So basically, like, from my lash line all the way up, um, and then leave a space at the brow bone, um, because that... Space case um, shadow is more of a topper, so I want to make sure I've got something kind of underneath it. Okay, so anyway, um, the second weekend when we were at States, that was like two and a half hours from where we live. And um, we stayed in a more expensive hotel because there were less, well, it was a bigger town for one, and there were less hotels like close to where we needed to be and so it was like just more expensive okay let me say this we stayed at a Wyndham I think it's called um the yeah by Wingate or something like that at the first one it was super nice they had a really good like continental breakfast and just it was really nice 
Well, the second one we stayed at was a Holiday Inn, which was way more expensive. There was no continental breakfast. And, like, the hotel wasn't as nice as the other place that we had stayed at. Like, we were all like, really? Like, I don't know. It was just weird. And I'm like, get over yourself, Holiday Inn, because you ain't that great. But, um, anyway, so we stay at this Holiday Inn. Well, first off, things were kind of goofy from the beginning. Like, everyone in our group was having some issues with stuff. And then they're trying to tell people that they were charging them more than they originally said the rooms were. It was just kind of weird. Like, everything was just a little bit off, you know? And, um, so we, the second, so the first night, whatever, everything's fine. And we, the boys didn't do great at, um, with teams. So all the other kids from the team ended up going home because they weren't staying for the next day. It was just individuals. So that was just my son and his friend. So put it this way, we had to be at the bowling alley super early in the mornings, like 630 in the morning. And so already that first night, like I got up at like 430, I think, or do we have to be there at seven? No, I think it was 630. Um, and so I was getting up at 430 because I give myself like two hours to get ready to shower, do hair and makeup. Two hours is kind of like my magic number. Anyway, so um, I had already gotten up that first morning at like 4.30. You sit all day in a bowling alley. It's like, it's tiring because you're sitting and you can't really move anywhere. There's so many people. They had like these bleachers set up for, um, you know, people who are watching and it's just you're sitting all day. It's like, ugh. and, um, so the rest of the team had like gone home, but then the coach and my family and my friend and her family, whatever, we all went out to eat and stuff. And, um, we get back to the hotel and I'm just like so tired. Well, actually she and I ended up going to, we went over and went to TJ Maxx cause there was like a shopping center, like right by our hotel. And, um, so we kind of went and did that kind of stuff and then got back and I was so tired. But when I got back, my husband and, um, my youngest son were, I didn't realize until I got up to the room, but they were down like in the arcade or whatever. And, um, so I went to go in our room and my key at first it showed red, like when I used the key card and then it just wouldn't show anything. And so I was like, oh, weird, my key isn't working for some reason. I'm like, okay, I know I didn't put it by my cell phone because I tell you not to do that because it like demagnetizes it or whatever. So I'm like, I don't know what's going on with that, but whatever. So I sent my husband a text and was like, well, I can't get in the room. So I'm going to go in Heather and Phil's room while, you know, you guys are down there. So just because they were right across the hall from us. And so um, I'm hanging out in there and we're just talking and stuff. And my husband comes up. Well, he goes and tries to get in and his key doesn't work. So we're like, what the heck? So he calls down to the desk from our friend's room and the guy says, oh, come down, I'll make you new keys. So he goes down and gets the keys. We're on the third floor, I think. Fourth floor? I don't know. Anyway, I think fourth maybe. And then, um, so he goes down and gets the new keys and comes back up. They don't work. So we're like, what the heck? So the guy comes up and starts looking. Well, then he's like, oh, I think the batteries are dead in the, like, mechanism thing that, you know, reads the cards. So he goes back down and goes to look for batteries. And then he comes back. And all of this is taking quite a while. It's not like he was, like, quickly buzzing back and forth. Um, which I get it. He's got other things going on, too. So I'm not saying that he should have been, but whatever. Um, okay, I'm going to take a little bit of this black very lightly. Hopefully, in the outer corner, just to um, give some definition there. Um, so, he comes back with batteries, and he's like, hopefully these work. Like, he just randomly got them from somewhere. So, we're, like, laughing. Like, did he go in a room and steal them from a remote or something? Like, what do you mean you don't know if these batteries will work? Like, if they're new or not. Like, because they weren't in a package when he brought them up. And so, he starts messing with it and taking it apart and puts it back together still doesn't work so something happened to the card reader and then the door wouldn't lock so now it's at 9 30 at night i'm dead 
tired and he tells us, well, we'll have to get you a new room. So if you want to go ahead and get all your stuff packed up, I'll go down and work on getting you a new room. I'm like, are you kidding me? So we go in. I'm like, well, I guess the positive of this is they'll have everything all packed up for morning because we had to be up and early and gone early again in the morning. And um, so we get all our stuff packed up. Well, I could feel myself starting to get a migraine. I'm like, oh no. And which happens to me a lot in hotels. Um, I always bring my own pillow for sure, but I think it's the dryness. Um, it messes me up big time. But anyway, so um, we pack up our room and we're waiting and we're waiting. We move our stuff out into the hallway so that when he comes, we're like ready to roll. We're waiting, we're waiting. My friend <laughs> comes out and is like, oh my gosh, come in here. Like don't sit out there in the hallway. And I can just feel my head just, oh my gosh. So, um, finally, the guy comes up and he's like, okay, I got you a room. It's on the fifth floor. Uh, so, we were right by the stairs. So, we grab all our stuff. He nicely helped carry some stuff. but um, And we head up to the next floor to the new room, which is completely different than the room we had been in, but which was fine, but whatever. Um, basically we were just going there to sleep and then get up and get ready and leave the next morning. But, um, so we get up there and the guy's like, okay, I'm going to do something for you to make up for the inconvenience, blah, blah. So we're thinking like money off the room, you know? And he starts trying to write us these vouchers for breakfast because they had like a restaurant thing in there instead of like a continental breakfast. So he had to go in and pay for breakfast. And my husband's like, or, and the guy's like, breakfast is from... I can't remember what time he said, 8 to 11 or something like that. And my husband's like, we're going to be gone by like 6 or 6.30 or something. And he's like, oh. And so he's like, all right, well, I'll um get something taken. I'll, I'll take money off your stay then and stuff for the inconvenience, blah, blah. So whatever. We go to bed. I know I'm in trouble. Like I can feel my head is just, oh my gosh. And so we, you know, go to bed and get up in the morning. I'm struggling big time. I can't eat because I'm like, I'll throw up if I eat and whatever. Well, we go down, we get all our stuff. We go down to the lobby for my husband to pay for the hotel room, whatever, before we're heading out. And he is um, waiting to see and there's nothing taken off our bill. So he's like, um, you know, we had to switch rooms in the night and whatever because the key card or card whatever key card thing stopped working and the guy told us he was gonna um you know do something to make up for it kind of whatever and so this guy's acting like he doesn't know it and he's like well who said that and whatever so my husband's like explaining who the guy is describing him blah blah so now i'm gonna use this little uh alien love child from space case um so the guy ends up all right, yep, I'll do something about this for you, blah, blah. Guess how much money they took off our room? $20. $20 for us having to move rooms in the night? And, like, seriously, like, how chintzy is that? Like, it was already super expensive to stay there. No continental breakfast. And then, like, you give us $20 for, oh my gosh, I thought that was so cruddy. Well, neither my husband nor I are confrontational people, and we don't argue things, so <laughs> sometimes we probably should. But also, we were in a hurry to get out of there and get to the bowling alley, so um, he just was like, whatever, you know, and we paid it and left. But I thought that was really cruddy that that was the compensation they gave us for their thing messing up, us having to pack up all our stuff and move to another floor for the night, and they give us 20 bucks. We would have been better off with the um, breakfast vouchers because it would have been for my husband, my son, and I, and they were like $12 each. I'm like, that would have been more worth it than, uh, I don't know, but anyway. So um, that was kind of a lovely, I'm like, yeah, I'm not really that impressed with Holiday Inn, thanks. Like, don't care about staying there again. Um, but so that was kind of just a funny 
a little weird thing that happened. Um, and then we went to the bowling alley and I was sick as a dog. And I was like leaning on my husband and stuff. And I'm like, the thing that's annoying to me is when I, I might have said this before, but when I have a migraine, it looks very much like a hangover kind of because it feels a lot like one. But I haven't drank in 10 years, um, over 10 years. But like, I'm like, People here probably think I'm a mom who came on my kid's bowling tournament and couldn't control herself and drank too much last night or something. So it was like ticking me off. I was super self-conscious about it. And um, so I didn't love that. Um, I'm going to use this City Mini palette again, maybe, and use the black. Why did I shut this? Why? Why do you know? Okay. To do under my lower lash line. Um... But yeah, so that was kind of, I was super self-conscious about that, and that was annoying, and just feeling awful, and unfortunately, um, neither of the boys did real well with individuals, so it wasn't too long of a day then, which was good since I wasn't feeling very well, um, but overall, it was a super fun experience, both weekends and stuff, and just the camaraderie between like the teammates and the coaches um it's a mother and son who coach and they're so awesome and the stuff they do with the kids like I'm so grateful for like they're not like most coaches and they don't get paid either because it's considered a club not a sport which I think is crap but um so they you know coach without being paid but they put a lot of their own money into it like she had these special towels made with, like, this little saying that the boys say to each other. She got them all, like, sleeves. She, um, like, bought them all blue hair dye. They all dyed their hair blue, including her and her son, to celebrate when they won regionals. Like, very awesome. Like, not your typical coaches. Like, they go way above and beyond. Okay, and now I'm going to use this little LOC, um, or lock, or however you say it. But shadow stick for my inner corner and my brow bone. Um, but yeah, they like are so awesome as like just people and coaches. And so that was a really fun experience having that time with all the kids together and stuff. So um, I loved every minute of that. That was really cool. I, excited for next year hopefully what I'm sad about is that my friend her son is graduating this year so um they won't be there next year so I don't like that but um but I hope that the new team will do well and we'll get to um well we always go to regionals but it would be really fun to have the state's experience again too so we'll see what happens this is so pretty I love this little shadow stick thing here. I've used it one other time. I used it um, in a very simple look for work last week, I think. I was really happy with it. I like to just kind of um, use my finger to just kind of chill it out a little bit because sometimes I feel like it's like too, a little too bright. All right. So, I think I'm going to take a little bit more of that black shadow on the outer edges and just kind of deepen it up a little bit more. Not too much because simple is the name of the game for tonight. But I'm happy with how this is turning out. I'm using all these new products. And as usual, my hair is looking crazy because it's wet because I just got out of the shower before I started getting ready. And I do my hair last when I get ready. Otherwise, I feel like it's in my way. Um, Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and do my... Oh no, I'll do this liner with you guys though too because that's my, my blue liner. I'm actually pretty impressed with how this... Dollar Store, it's LA Colors. Um, maybe Blue Liner works. It's not like super crazy or something like wow amazing, but I didn't really have great expectations for it, so it 
does better than I had thought it was going to. And since this look is kind of dark anyway, I don't want to make it too too dark like a black would be on the lower lash line. So, so this should work out good. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and do my mascara, all that kind of stuff. And then I'll come back and do lips with you. But I will be all ready then. You won't see this straggly mess. Okay. So my hair is done and all that. And I have my mascara and liner on. And so we're going to go ahead and use this Pixie um, Honey Sheen Lip Gloss. And see how that looks. I'm sure I'm going to love it because I love lip gloss. So I'm a lip gloss girl. It's an interesting flavor. Almost minty but not quite minty like a medicated lip balm is kind of what it makes me think of but the color is very pretty just a simple sheen which is what i was hoping for so um so that's a win for me which i knew it was going to be anyway and then um the morphe bronzer i went in a little heavy at first but it actually looks pretty good it's maybe a little more warm toned than the bronzers i usually use but that's okay i'm happy with it and the estate highlight, um, I think you could build it up more if you wanted, but I don't like a super blingy highlight, not for work at least. Um, so, but I like that. And this space case eyeshadow, it is a topper, but I think it is so pretty. And then just with, I only used that gray color and the black out of this City Mini palette to make just this very simple look, but I actually really, really like it. I, I really like it. And then um, that LOC shadow stick in Champagne Problems just as a brow bone highlight and inner corner. And so that is my very simple look for work tonight. And I'm very happy with how it turned out. So I will be leaving you, I'll leave up on the screen here um, how things wore, like if it wore off or whatever, and kind of give you that idea to know. Um, but as far as for first putting it on, I am very happy with the way it looks so yay that was kind of fun i hope you guys enjoyed listening to me chat and talk about hashtag makeup i'm not even kidding like we giggled our butts off i'm like that was so incredibly ditzy of me it was hilarious it was just it was hilarious and so now that's something that we always have that we'll laugh at so i appreciate that <laughs> good friends are like the best people that can make you laugh and especially when things are hard like that is such a gift and so um I'm so thankful for her and um, I'm thankful for you guys because you're always so supportive and just sweet and I have a lot of fun interacting with you guys. So um, I look forward to hearing your comments down below and I will talk to you very soon. Bye.